The prophet Elijah, Eliyahu Hanavi, whose story is told in the first and second books of Kings in the Hebrew Bible, is a different kind of prophet than all the others we've explored in this video series. Because Elijah is not merely a teacher or a preacher or a miracle worker, he's actually a warrior. And this can be seen clearly in the story of the confrontation between Elijah and the prophets of Baal. In this famous confrontation, Elijah strikes down, killing 450 idolatrous priests. Why did he do this? What was idolatrous and what was motivating Elijah in this scene? Hi, I'm Jonathan Lipnick, a professor at the Israel Institute of Biblical Studies. And in this video, we're going to take a closer look at the authentic Hebrew language of 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 21. Vayigash Eliyahu el kol ha'am, vayomer ad matay atem poschim al shtei ha'seifim, im Adonai ha'elohim lechu acharav, ve'im ha'baal lechu acharav, velo anu ha'am oto davar. Elijah then came near to all the people and said, How long will you go limping with two different opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. The people did not answer him a word. The prophet Elijah lived at a time in the 9th century BC when the prophets of Israel were not yet having their words recorded and written down in books which bear their name. Indeed, Elijah's story is not recorded in a book of Elijah, but rather in the book of 1st and 2nd Kings. He lived in the northern kingdom of Israel and devoted his life to encouraging King Ahab, who had made political alliances with the Phoenicians, to return to a life of monotheism, a radical monotheism which involved the worship of one God. Indeed, his name itself, Eliyahu, is comprised of the two names which the God of Israel, El and Adonai, those two names are the hallmarks of Israel's monotheism. In this verse, we see a perfect illustration of why reading the Bible in translation can sometimes be such an unfulfilling experience. The phrase, how long will you go on limping between two opinions, falls so flat when compared to the original Hebrew. In Hebrew, what this verse actually means, poschim al shtei seifim, means how long will you go jumping back and forth between two different branches. The metaphor here is that of a bird who is too flighty to decide where he wants to settle down. Elijah is using this image of a bird as a way of castigating the children of Israel for constantly vacillating between idolatry and monotheism, between the worship of Baal and the worship of Adonai. The passage opens with the word Vayigash, which has been translated in English as he came near. But in fact, a better translation would be, and then he confronted. Because everywhere in the Bible that we see this term Vayigash, we know that what's coming next is a confrontation of some kind. We see this in chapter 18 of the book of Genesis, for example, when Abraham engages in a very high-pitched debate with God himself over the future fate of the Sodomites. In this passage, the term Vayigash is used to indicate the battle that is coming with the idolatrous priests of Baal. But if you read the term in English, and he came near, a very neutral and empty term, you would never know that this is coming. Yet another reason why reading the Bible in Hebrew gives you that kind of intertextuality which allows you to be a better and richer reader of Scripture. Chapter 17 of the Gospel of Matthew contains a very rare account, not found in any of the other Gospels, known as the Transfiguration, where Jesus of Nazareth is invited up from a hilltop in the Galilee to be blessed by two figures, Moses and Elijah. Moses and Elijah, perhaps the two greatest prophets in the Hebrew Bible. Moses, who symbolizes the Torah, and Elijah, who symbolizes the Nevi'im. These two figures set the stage for what will eventually become a life of prophecy 
by numerous individuals in the Judeo-Christian tradition. Thank you so much for joining me in this fascinating exploration of the Hebrew words of the Hebrew prophets. If you haven't seen all the videos in this series, I want to encourage you to go back and watch the episodes that you missed. Thank you so much for the comments that you've written and for your likes. Join me next time, Lehitraot.